Hey everybody, it's Leela Mullen from Be Inspired Horsemanship. So I'm here at the barn today, and as you can see behind me, it is a lovely sunny Saturday afternoon, but just a couple hours ago, it was pouring the rain. Um, it's been raining a lot here in Des Moines over the last few weeks um, this fall. So I wanted to go over one of my favorite topics, which is how to deal with rain rot or rain scald mud fever, those type of situations that we get into with our horses when they're in wet, muddy conditions quite a bit. So today I have a perfect case study to go over with everyone. So my off the tracker uh, flash it tends to be very prone to skin stuff just as a thoroughbred he's thin skinned. Um, he also loves to roll in the mud. So a couple of weeks ago I was gone for a week to Kentucky for the thoroughbred makeover, uh, volunteering and supporting that event and my husband babysat the horses, and unfortunately it rained the entire week I was gone here in Des Moines. So now Flash has developed a pretty heavy case of rain scald. Of course, it's typical with most horse things. Um, we're getting ready to put him up for sale so that we can purchase a 2020 makeover prospect. And now he has rain scald um, over his hindquarters, a little bit where his saddle goes, so we're trying to get that cleaned up. So today I'm gonna go over some things to do to kind of help that along and also some products that work, some products that don't work. So um, it's a good day to do it because yesterday I treated the rain scald and then it rained all night and all morning and Flash loves to roll in the mud. So of course I showed up this morning and he is covered from head to toe. So I'm gonna take you through every step in the process today um, on what I'm gonna do to kind of get this um, cleaned up and a handle on his rain scald. So thanks for tuning in to Be Inspired Horsemanship and here we go. So to start, this is how Flash came in today. Um, he's a little impatient just because he's been standing here for quite a while waiting for us to start our video vlog for the day. Um, but he typically does this type of thing anytime it rains and then stops raining. So he is covered in mud from head to toe. Um, I've already hosed his feet down a little bit. And then the darker patches are where he's had the rain scald treatment. So now I have to wash off the mud and also wash off um, the old treatment that he had on from yesterday. Um, you don't always have to wash the treatment I'm going to review um, off every single day, but because he's covered in mud, we're going to have to wash it off. Buddy. So we're going to kind of get started. So this is the before of how he came in. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to see under the mud, but he has a pretty severe case of the rain scald back here on his hindquarters especially. So this, this is kind of mud mixed with the treatment, but underneath that he kind of has that hard firm hot layer of uh, rain scald that we're trying to get rid of. So this is kind of our starting point for the day. Okay, so Flash is now pretty much completely hosed down. Um, we are going to now uh, just use a microbial shampoo just to kind of get the rest of the dirt and oil. If I had a horse who was getting uh, rain rot or rain scratches first thing before um, I started treating it, daily, then I definitely would shampoo them and give them a bath if it was warm enough with something like this. Uh, I really like this Microtech shampoo. Um, it's good for using. So if it's warm enough in your area of the country to still bathe the horses, then this is what I would be doing. Um, for Flash, because I've been treating him um, with an oil-based treatment already, um, I'm probably going to use a little bit of Dawn to cut through this oil and get this older um, oil-based treatment off that's now <laughs> soaked with mud again. Um, you can use Dawn, you can use palm olive, um, anything that's kind of a, a mild detergent that cuts through oil will help um, take out that old treatment if you need to kind of hose it off and rinse them off in that respect. So we're going to suds them up and uh, keep working through the process today. So we have now finished the first two steps in the process of dealing with our rain scald. So we have bathed Flash, hosed off all the mud, and bathed Flash. So our next step will be that we will utilize the treatment um, that I've found to work really great. And we will be doing that this afternoon. Um, right now I'm going to let Flash dry off a little bit. 
um, so that when we come back this afternoon, we can do that. He's been pretty tolerant this morning. Um, I think I'm as wet. I'm going to shirt sleeve. I think I'm as wet and as dirty um, as he probably was to begin with. So now he's clean and getting dry, and I'm wet and dirty. So I am going to um, run to the house for lunch, let him chill and be a horse in the stall, um, dry off, eat some hay, and then this afternoon we'll put a treatment on him, and I'll show you guys the number one treatment I have been found um, that works for this rain scald in a quick and painless uh, manner for your horses, especially thin-skinned thoroughbreds. So we'll be right back with the treatment clip, so stay tuned. Okay guys, it's Leela Mullen from Be Inspired Horsemanship. So we're back um, this afternoon and Flash is all dry. He's ate dinner. He is about ready to get turned out for the night and we are ready to do our topical application. So as you guys will be able to see in just a minute, um, he is fairly sore um, across his loins, but we are starting to get some of the um, rain scabs to kind of, um, what I would say, loosen up so that we can get them off. So I'm gonna show you guys that a little bit and then I'm gonna run you through um, the topical that I am currently putting on to treat this that is working like a million bucks. Um, my 28 year old quarter horse who is in this stall, <laughs> if you guys can see him, there. So my 28 year old quarter horse here um, also tends to get this kind of stuff just where he has old saggy skin and um, grooves on his body. Um, so he tends to get a little bit of it as well this time of year since he's older. So I've been using the same treatment on him, and in about two to three days, his is cleared up. Um, it wasn't, or almost cleared up. It wasn't quite as severe as Flash's, so, you know, this might take a few more days, but supposedly this treatment will work in just about a week to two weeks um, without taking all the hair off at the same time and leaving them bare. So that's what we're hoping for since Flash is getting ready um, to be put up for sale. Okay, so as you guys can see, um, even though I bathed Flash earlier, there's still some residue of oil in his coat from our last few treatments. Um, as I said, you guys can see he's pretty sore over his loins. Um, yeah, buddy, I know. He, he's just a kind of a sensitive horse about stuff like this anyway. This is one of the few things he is super sensitive about. Um, so you can see right here we're starting to get little turn it in angle. We're starting to get the scabs to kind of loosen up, um, which is what we need because for this horse, um, unless they're completely loose, he's not going to be happy with me pull them off. You can just see just where I'm pushing on them. Um, he's already getting a little flinchy about it. So our goal today is just to add our topical treatment again. Um, the topical treatment we use is made of three main ingredients. It's made of hydrogen peroxide, um, a little bit of iodine, and then some type of oil. So baby oil is okay, coconut oil is okay, mineral oil is also um, okay to use. The I really prefer to use the coconut oil, but the issue we have with that is as it starts to get cold here, um, you know, it hardens up really quick. So we can microwave it into a liquid form, but then in about 15 minutes it starts to harden up. So we're gonna use the baby oil today. So this solution is 50% baby oil, 50% hydrogen peroxide, and then just about a half an ounce of iodine. Okay guys, so final result, Flash has now been um, coated with our oil, our nice oily um, concoction all the way around, um, and on his legs a little bit. He doesn't have nearly as much of it on his legs as he does um, on his butt is the main part. So he's all good to go. We'll do the same thing again tomorrow and possibly the next day. Hopefully he doesn't come in tomorrow covered in mud again. So once again, the um, concoction we're using to <laughs> treat his rain scald is 16 ounces of baby oil, 16 ounces of hydrogen peroxide and about a half an ounce of hi buddy about a half an ounce of he's such a good guy I know you've been so good today for all of that you've been so good today for everything and a half an ounce of iodine so we'll keep doing our treatment 
and keep you guys posted on how Flash is doing. Um, we did pony him out today since it's a little harder to put a saddle on him right now. We did pony him out um, with my old man JT uh, out around the property and he had a good time. So he's still pretty happy. Um, not, not quite as upset as he was at me this morning getting a bath in the cold. Okay guys, so I wanted to give you a quick rundown of some of the other um, solutions or applications I might use for rain scald or rain rot. So here again are the ingredients for the oil-based um, topical solution I'm currently using on Flash to help get rid of his really bad rain scald. It's antibacterial and antifungal. Sometimes rain rot, rain scald, mud fever, they can be fungal or bacterial. So I like to make sure I'm covering my bases um, both with the fungus or the bacterial elements. So these are the ingredients I'm currently using for that. Um, in this spray bottle, I have a 50-50 bleach and water mix. Sometimes when the horses have a small spot or if they're super um, overly moist instead of overly dry when they first start to get the fungus, I like to dry it out a little bit with this 50-50 solution. This is also a good um, in a pinch solution to use if it's way too cold to get your horses wet. Um, for horses that have just a small spot maybe on their leg or just on the back of their um, pasterns or near their footlocks or maybe just one small place on their hip, um, I would use something like this fungusol cream. It's still um, oil based really. It's got tea tree oil in it. Um, so if your horses have an allergy to tea tree oil, you know, you need to notate that. But it definitely works with like any small spots um, if you don't have broad outbreak. Um, this is the same as the Microtech shampoo, except this is the gel. Um, I do like to use this once again if I'm trying to get a handle on the microbial element or in between the oil rotations. And I use the gel over the shampoo when it is too cold to really bathe or wet down my horses in a large area. Um, here's my Dawn dish detergent that I just use a little bit of to cut through the oil. It's really gentle um, when I'm bathing my horses. There's our Microtech shampoo. Once all of the crud is loosened and has come through and your horse basically um, no longer has the skin irritation or the dermatitis um, issues, then I do recommend using um, MTG to help grow hair back in as well as prevent any reinfection. Um, MTG, for people who don't know, the basic ingredients, let's see if we can get that to focus, maybe not, but the basic ingredients in MTG is um, mineral oil and sulfur. So it works very similarly to um, the mineral oil and the iodine that we're using in our you can use uh, mineral oil in your in our concoction we're using now. So I do like to use MTG so it's of course at the end of the row of all our uh, our topical treatments that we're dealing with right now for our outbreak of rain scab um, scald and the scabs on one or two of our horses. So that'll be the last step we do with Flash. So that's kind of an overview. Um, if you guys have any tips, tricks, or products that you found to be super helpful for rain rot or rain scald, uh, feel free to drop those in the comments and we look forward to hearing from everyone. That's our summary on treating rain scald in horses. For me and Flash. Yeah, Flash. So until next time, this is Leela Mullen from Be Inspired Horsemanship. Um, hope everybody has a great weekend and enjoy your rides.